Welcome to KCTS 9 Connects, taking you beyond the headlines of Northwest news, issues, and politics. Coming up, the debate over Tim Eyman's latest initiative heats up. Our political roundtable will weigh in. But first, the race for King County Executive. King County Council Chair Dow Constantine and former news anchor Susan Hutchison are in a neck-and-neck -neck race to fill the seat vacated by Ron Sims. A recent poll shows Hutchison with a 47 to 44 percent lead, but with nearly 10 percent undecided and a 4 percent margin of error. It's plain that this is still anyone's race. So tonight we want to help you make up your mind by offering profiles of the candidates. Senior producer Ethan Morris caught up with both of them on the campaign trail and shows us the candidates who are vying to be the top executive of King County. We begin with Susan Hutchison. Hi, this is Susan Hutchison, and I'm calling about the King County Executive's race. If there's one problem Susan Hutchison doesn't have in the race for King County Executive, it's name recognition. For more than two decades, she came into people's homes over the airwaves to bring them the news. And you may know that we won the primary. Now she's about to saturate the airwaves again, not for ratings, but for votes. And we're very optimistic about winning the general election on November 3rd. Born in California, Susan grew up in the Washington, D.C. area, the daughter of an Air Force general. She earned a degree in journalism from the University of Florida. In 1977, she married her high school sweetheart and a year later started her career in news in Hawaii. Then in 1982... Now, Cairo Eyewitness News, the news specialist. With John Marler, Susan Hutchison. She was offered an anchor job at Cairo News in Seattle. Hutchison was a news fixture until 2002. Citing low ratings, the station pulled her from the 11 o'clock news and hired a younger anchor to replace her. Hutchison sued the station for age discrimination. The case was settled out of court in 2005. Since leaving TV, Hutchison has kept a fairly high profile in the community, serving on local boards, including the Seattle Symphony and the Seattle Art Museum. Currently, she's the executive director of the Charles Simone Fund, a Seattle-based philanthropic organization. She lives in Seattle with her husband and two sons. So why run for King County Executive? I've been asked to run for office many times before. I'd say for at least the last 20 years. People have encouraged me to run for office. This time, Hutchison says it felt right. It's not a glamorous role. It's not a prestigious role like a senatorial position or the governor. It's a workhorse job. And I just like to work. That's definitely the attitude at the Hutchison campaign headquarters, where a small army of volunteers gathers every day to make calls. This is Jim Washington, Emily, and I'm a volunteer for the Susan Hutchison for King County Executive Campaign. And make signs for a candidate they believe in passionately. Susan makes it really nice. She's here every day. She lets you know that she really cares about you and is going to make a change here. So she's a real inspiration for all of us working here, and I think she'll continue to do so even as after the 3rd of November. One thing in particular that seems to resonate with her volunteers is a belief in Hutchison's no-nonsense, nonpartisan approach. When I looked at the different challengers and contenders, most people were more um, partisan, and she was more practical towards the solutions. And Susan is an excellent, excellent person. And my wife and I both think she would do an excellent job as a county exec. There was a tremendous need in the county for someone new, someone who was a nonpartisan and a non-politician. But that claim has been a sticking point for Hutchison's opponents. While the office of King County Executive is officially nonpartisan, critics say she's a Republican, hiding in a moderate's clothing. She wants to kind of go to the middle and appeal to kind of independent, moderate uh, D's um, and doesn't want to be painted as a conservative Republican in an area that, you know, where the conservative Republican seems to be um, endangered. In fact, the Seattle Times reported that Hutchison considered running for the U.S. Senate on the Republican ticket in 2006. Other published reports have revealed that Hutchison has made contributions to a long list of GOP candidates, including Dave Reichert, Dino Rossi, Mike Huckabee, and George W. Bush. The Hutchison camp adamantly maintains that she is running a nonpartisan campaign for a nonpartisan office. To blunt the Republican label, she has proudly announced endorsements from prominent Democrats, including Lieutenant Governor Brad Owen and State Auditor Brian Sontag. She also officially backs Referendum 71, 
which affirms domestic partnership rights for same-sex couples. You can believe, believe it or not that if she's become more moderate uh, recently, um, but, you know, it, perception sometimes is reality, and if she can get her message out there that she is moderate. Hutchison won the primary with 33 percent of the vote, but since has been getting lessons in hardball politics. Bloggers have pounced on her Republican ties. The Seattle Times reported she hasn't voted in eight elections since 2001. And in August, the Times obtained documents from her settlement with Cairo. Among the revelations, that she called in sick over the 4th of July, but was spotted vacationing in Oregon, and that she had a bumpy relationship with station management. Well, the Seattle Times sued her to open up her um, lawsuit with Cairo, and she bristled at that. Um, you know, she said she's for open government and whatnot, but um, she clearly doesn't like to talk about her past uh, issues with, with Cairo. Despite the media reports, Hutchison remains extremely optimistic. Great first sentence. As the election approaches, she's trying to stay focused on her campaign message, promoting herself as a political outsider and a problem solver. I'm not from county government. I don't own those problems. I put my head down and, and get to work. And that's what I want to do on the very first day I take office.